you're, you're, you're on the Moscow Loop here, which is some of the noise that you at home might be hearing. Yeah, and it's actually record. interesting because as a European crew member, you're actually talking to Moscow in Russian. And you uh, had to learn uh, Russian to, to fly in the space station. Well, uh, you know, you're flying on a Russian vehicle uh, today, and uh, just to fly on the Soyuz spacecraft, you actually need uh, Russian. The whole instrumentation, everything is in Russian, and... Uh, the the procedure is in Russian. I'm looking at the screens all the way down there on mission we're control, and I see we're uh, under 10 15, meters. 15, 15 seconds uh, at uh, that is the started the departure. So we are below 10 meters. Now things get really interesting up there. Uh, the crew is really monitoring the docking. Uh, uh, target, uh, which is that uh, cross you see just above the uh, center. Um, everything looks uh, perfect. I mean, it looks absolutely nominal. It's pretty amazing how this uh, telegoniometer and videogoniometer are so precise in indicating the, the position of the spacecraft and they actually are sending information to the control system inside that maneuver the engine in a way so that uh, uh, we go in precisely. If you, if you see below the bottom Button left to say it's no failure, and then on top of it there is a number which is minus 0 0.6. That's our speed. That's the speed. The speed should be seven, around seven centimeters per second. No more, and not less, because if there's more, it causes problem. If there's less, yes, causes uh, other it, problems. It, it causes other problems. You cannot dock. So this is very precise at this moment. Now Five meters to go. J just a question on, on the crew. The ATV is totally automated, which is why it's ATV automated transfer vehicle. The crew is there, however, as an added uh, layer of security. Is that fair yes? To say? That's correct. That three more things needs to fail before things happen. Um, let's look a second carefully there. Uh, so if you go all the way up on the left column. You see a bunch of numbers, and then you go up to the way it says RDS ready. Below there, there will be an indication of the capture. If you see there, capture, which is at the moment of capture, means the, the sensor senses that uh, this is happening. So we are looking now Two minutes away from the capture. Exactly. We are at three meters. Uh, speed is uh, seven centimeters a second, precise. Look at, I'm looking at the target here. The cross is exactly center, and all the uh, crown of those lo do those dots, I can see them perfectly, which means everything is. Uh, Perfect as it should be. ATV coming into the ISS. Now, you were up there uh, last year. What was going through your mind? Adam? Well, uh, you know, 1.5 meters now. Uh, it looks like ATV is moving away a little bit the center, but this is because the camera is offset. So we have a special correction mechanism there. And uh, and uh, and see, so it's coming in uh, exactly center, 40 centimeters, six, uh, still six, six centimeters a second. Let's look per carefully uh, below RDS ready. Uh, we should have should capture. They should say they should say contact first, and then uh, capture. capture. There we are. Capture. There we go. RDS ready. That's it. So the probe has gone into the cone. Exactly. Exactly. There it is. ATV has docked with the ISS, but we're not finished. Well, uh, let's say that we can wipe off some of the sweat from our from our things. I can hear mission control is all clapping. Everybody is happy. Uh, of course, uh, this is not the end of it. This is a major milestone we have reached in there. Uh, we are still a uh, few steps away from uh, uh, declaring success here. And right, what are we waiting for? We're waiting for the well, latches to close. We're waiting well for the electrical uh, contact what, uh, to be established. What happened there? What happened there is that at this point uh, the probe uh, will retract, uh, bringing together the docking uh, mechanisms. Hang on a second. The probe goes in, and we have capture, and then the probe comes back out. Well, no, uh, the the the. The probe goes in, the, 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 the probe uh, engages into the cone, and then the probe retracts into ATV, which essentially means ATV is, is uh, drawn towards the station. Towards the station, okay. And what happens next? And, uh, and next is that uh, uh, the um, uh, mechanical structures between the station and uh, ATV will actually uh, be uh, aligned. And, and there will be some hooks. Uh, if, I'm, if I remember correctly, there are 16 hooks uh, that are actually slowly 
um, closed in so that to compress uh, all the mechanism uh, between the station and ATV. Now again, all this is happening automatically or is the crew uh, pushing buttons it, to make it sure? It is. There is a software that makes everything happen automatically in case of problems, in case there is uh, uh, some uh, failure there, the crew then uh, comes in and does that uh, uh, manually. And what is Andre Kuiper's uh, doing right, right now?